Welcome back everyone. This is Preston from the PGK Railway coming at y'all with another video. I would like to start this video off by saying I'm sorry for the lack of uploads. Recently got a promotion at work. I've been very, very busy. Haven't had a whole lot of time for the layout, but I've been doing a little bit here and there. So the main focus of this video is going to be we're going to do a review on possibly the coolest car Lionel has ever made, and that would be the Hotbox Reefer car. But we're going to start by showing you what all has changed on the layout. As you can probably tell, everything looks a little bit different, not as cluttered, not as many accessories. That's the biggest thing. But I'll start, I'll start this off by uh, showing you guys what has changed on the layout. All right. So to start this off, we're going to start on the far left hand side of the table. As you can see, nothing too crazy over here. Some accessories are gone. We got some signals. I plan on putting a mountain in this back corner at some point this is still a work in progress don't have a whole lot of time to do anything yet but we're making a little bit of progress every day so for what we got going on for the inside loop is we have a oval slash figure eight crossover this side we just got the oil drum motor i figured he'd be the one accessory to stay because we are in a garage there is a lot of heat in here especially living in florida now so i figured he would be the one that would be safest so we kept him on the table of course um yeah that's about it and then on this side what we got going on is we got a small town that we're gonna build i don't want to get give away uh too many details of what's gonna happen but yeah this is the basic track plan took off most of the accessories kind of wanted to keep it a little bit more simple do a very small little town scene we got the mth electric trains three-story building lionel's uh 128 newsstand and then the mth uh tavern burger so yeah that's about it for the table, but now we're gonna jump right into this review. All right, so that's what we got going on with the layout. Still a lot of stuff to do, all the scenery. Still gotta figure out the mountain, wire up a few more accessories. But for now, all we're gonna be using is we're just gonna be running the outside loop. And you may have noticed I have something in my hands. I finally decided to do an upgrade to run my trains with a remote. Now this is only for the outside. This is just the basic DCS remote commander system. MTH electronics, especially TIUs and DCS remotes are outrageous right now. And the Wi-Fi interfaces are still on pre-order. I don't wanna run my trains with my phone because if I do that, how am I gonna film and run trains? So I stuck with this because one came up for a really good price. So this is how we're gonna start it off. We don't have to have any more jump cuts. We can just start it off by hitting the startup sequence. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy.
All right, so that's been the review of Lionel's Hot Box Reefer. Well, not much of a review, just kind of showing it off. It is a very fun little car. The sounds are very obnoxious. I normally do not run it that loud just because if you have this car on max volume, it gets crazy loud. That's not even max on this. It's still got a little bit further that it can go on the knob. But I mean, these are running around about $80, $90. If you're looking for a little bit of fun and excitement on your layout, definitely get it. It adds a lot of fun to it, especially because this is a traditional sized car. It is not full scale by any means. It is the same size as the post-war later versions of the milk cars, which is a good size of a freight car, not too small, not too huge. But yeah, it's a fun car. I definitely recommend looking into it. And if you guys haven't already, I definitely say if you got some MTH and you run it conventionally like I used to, it's worth investing in the commander system. Don't buy them for $250. They pop up for cheap. You just got to keep an eye out for them. But these, I have only good things to say. This is a game changer. Um, because it's been so long since I've made a video, I am going to do a little sneak peek as to what the next video is. You have already seen it in a few of the shots, but in case you haven't, I'll just let you guys see. I don't want to spoil too much because that's what the next video is going to be. Once again, I am so sorry for the lack of uploads for the past three weeks. I know it's been almost a month, but hopefully I'll be able to get back on track once I start figuring out work schedule and balancing time a little bit better to make YouTube videos. But I just want to say thank you guys for all of your support. We have just passed 150 subscribers, which is absolutely mind blowing. I just want to say thank you guys. You are the best. I hope you have a good rest of your night. Take care. This has been Preston for the PGK Railway. I'll catch you all next time.